Okay, aside from that really unserious uh, entry. Hey, my tunes, Tariq Tunes here. Uh, this is going to be quite a different video, and it's going to be discussing something pretty important. If you are unaware of the whole COPA rule, it's basically if your channel is more kid friendly, then you'll lose all your features like comments, dislikes, likes. Pretty much it, yeah. And also monetization. I think of this, this is a really stupid idea if I'm being honest. And this isn't even YouTube's fault for this rule. I mean, it sorta of is because they were using kids' accounts to actually get more money. It was a big screw up on their part and it was actually pretty stupid. But this new rule is kinda dumb. If you are a content creator that makes kid-friendly content, like really kid-friendly content, and still wants monetization and some positive feedback, or criticism, then this is going to be a big problem for you once the new decade comes. And for monetization, it's a lose-lose situation. If you're kid-friendly, you'll lose your monetization because you're kid-friendly. But if you have adult content, you'll also lose your monetization by being demonetized. What kind of logic is that? Honestly, me, I can really not give a single crap about monetization because I don't really care about it. If there was a case scenario in which I would actually have to use YouTube to actually have a job, then maybe, but I'm thinking of actually, you know, getting a real job, like in the real world. For people who use YouTube as a job, then this is going to be a quite a big problem for them if their channel is kid-friendly. For me, removing likes and dislikes and comments, like, I don't know, I could really care less about removing likes and dislikes, but comments? Like, yeah, I'm not sure if I can go with that. Comments are there to give, give me more of an in-depth reason on why people liked or disliked the video so they can give me some constructive criticism. So without comments then how am I gonna know how to improve my videos or if anyone liked them or not? I guess same thing applies with the likes and dislikes too and plus I'm starting to become more of a kid-friendly channel so this is gonna be quite a problem for me. Now I just want to give my two reasons on why this should even exist. One. There's YouTube Kids! Like, are you serious? Did they, like, forget about YouTube Kids or something? Like, like, oh well, YouTube Kids doesn't exist even though it's on the freaking app store and it's free. Plus, you could turn age restriction on, too. Like, if you really think about this, this is mind-bogglingly dumb. See? You, you, you see this? You see this? YouTube Kids. YouTube Kids. Right here. Right here. But you know what? That doesn't exist anymore. This doesn't exist! What about, what about, uh, restricted mode? What about restricted mode, huh? You, you know, whoop! Doesn't exist either! Doesn't exist either! So, this can actually kill YouTube. As over-exaggerated as that sounds, it actually seems like that's going to happen. YouTubers are already leaving the site, and if it gets this bad, then I'm pretty sure bigger YouTubers could leave the site too. And also, bigger YouTubers means a lot more money for YouTube, so yeah, that's a problem for you. That's a problem for you. Which is why bigger YouTubers need to, you know, talk about this. Like, for for instance, PewDiePie, one of the biggest, like, the the juggernaut of YouTube. A lot of YouTube's bigger money makers need to talk about this because there are the channels that YouTube gives the most attention to. So someone at YouTube can actually, you know, talk about this. I know it really isn't their fault that this whole COPA rule is being set into play, but yeah, it really is because they were the ones who used kids' accounts to make more money. But the FCC or whoever made this rule is, is responsible because this rule is just dumb. I thought the commercially viable thing was bad, but of course that turned out to not really be real and kind of exaggerated, but this can actually be worse. This can actually be worse because YouTubers actually are leaving because of this. As over-exaggerated as this statement sounds, this can actually kill YouTube. Like, really. YouTubers are already leaving. It's, it's, it's honestly just terrible. Well, this is quite different from my normal vids, but... And plus, uh, Tariq, you have like... I don't know, 319 subs. Who who would have listened to someone as a small YouTuber? Who what YouTube would not listen to a small YouTuber? Look, but it's at least worth a shot already. I mean, I already made my message to uh, the federal. Uh, I don't know what the freaking website is. I'm just gonna 
put it on the screen. But I already made my message there, and hopefully that can give me somewhat of a chance. People are also doing the exact same thing, which I'm also happy about. The thing is, make your statement clear. Make it clear that this rule is not really that good. Make it clear that this could damage YouTube. And if there's any possibility that a YouTube executive or anyone at the FCC or whoever made this rule is listening, stop. That's all I gotta say. This rule is not really that good because there are two ways to avoid this. YouTube kids and restricted mode. Like, that's really the only thing I can think about. Like, seriously, if you really think about this, this rule is useless because we already have two things that can actually make YouTube safe for kids. Honestly, that's really all I gotta say about this video, man. You really didn't expect me to make more of a face cam video, and the quality might be pretty, uh, shit. But I gotta really make this message clear, man. Like, honestly, that's the least I can do, even though I am a small channel with, like, 300 subs. But that's all I can do right now. Anyways, until then, see ya, my t Crap. Yeah, that was a really good ending. That wasn't a really good ending.